Just got up, please.
over here. <clears throat> The second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really gets you? Or the rats? Jasper, isn't it? It's not so bad in here. Except I miss your wife. Ha! Huh. You don't scare easy, I'll give you that. That'll change. Uh. What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. Uh, <clears throat> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerna, and word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits, but... If I see Samuel the boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. Sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretics brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. Or the member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. Rat, what were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer. Or even the high overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out from Seven strictures and seven strictures. Yes, I will. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. 
Never doubt. Wait, who is that? Go! Get A promotion for the man who kills this one. Take him! Take out his leg! I gotta get back right now. I know you're here somewhere, Scum. When I find you, it's gonna be bad.
did you get caught in the lockdown last night? Six hours. Search the place top to bottom. And nothing. Will we end up free? Back to the beginning. It was Martin's plot to break him out of Cold Ridge Prison. That's clear enough. But why Corvo? The one man feared throughout the Empire. He's as skilled as they say. He got through there with half the watch looking for him. He had... is a man, aged 30 perhaps, slender, unusual tattooing on the face and chest, probably superstitious heresy, wearing some sort of industrial mask when we brought him in, stolen out of one of the whaling factories from the look of it. You're one of Dowd's men, aren't you? Caught at last? Give us a name at least. What's wrong with his eyes? Opium? Laudanum? Are you with us? What's he doing? Some kind of fit? They... He's gone. Here it is, a pen, hidden in one of his gloves. Subject has administered some kind of poison. The effects seem to have been lethal. is having trouble holding the side streets. But it chilled me. We're in games, that's all it is. Good, good. And your niece, Callista, 
isn't it? I'm very concerned about her. She'll be found. My men are searching district by district. The poor girl. Yeah, it's nice. a resourceful one. Probably found a safe place to hold up in all this chaos. If my overseers hear any word, I'll come straight to you. Time for drinks. I hope you won't refuse. I'll make this business pass all the quicker. The servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. Here we are. Now, if you'll join me. Men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies, and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. Now, stuck art to me!
Hey, Corvo. It's Samuel. I'm here. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. You ready to go? Okay, let's go. Oh, thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You know that. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and actions. The state depends on you.
You're lucky I keep you on. Lucky? This place would fall apart in ten minutes without me. Is that so? In any case, you can't dismiss me. I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. My master had a very fitful night. No one sleeps well here. When they come to get me, they'll be surprised. I've held a sword before, believe it or not. Please pardon the untidiness of the room. I will tend to it shortly. It's a nice old pub. These beds have seen quite a bit of use, I can tell you. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, Poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Oh, the golden cat. Not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints. If anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry. I only thought... Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Corvo, my friend, do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you?
We want to talk to you. Dust here, dust there. Feels like the whole world is dusty. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo, because we've gotten what we wanted from Campbell's journal. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwood is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Campbell's book appears to contain much more than we expected. He was blackmailing a number of highly ranked overseers. With the information in his journal, we will be able to manipulate the religious faction. The overseers will bend to our will.
take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. He now bears the Heretics brand, and by one of the oldest traditions of Slap the Abbey of the Slack it John. is now a minor criminal kind of name is that anyway? offer this man aid or housing. Anything in, in your pocket for a poor working man? Crisis, I'll pal. Overseers have initiated the Feast of Painted Kettles until a new High Overseer is chosen. Hey! You're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. That him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. If you want, go on. Slackjaw's inside. you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water down. Well, that's just to make the swallowing go smooth. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting the plague. Drink till you drop. That's my motto.
Shut up. My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ink. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there dressed like that and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. Chopper. Somebody give me a hand! 
That settles that. Hungry? Well, don't eat river crust. It'll make you sick as a bucket. <coughs> Want to look at some of the things I've found? Good prices, I swear. Last night, chances yeah, are very good. Nice. Nice. 
Dunwall citizens, a mandatory whale oil ration is now in effect. non is a punishable offense. Hey, wait a bit. What just occurred to me? How come it's always me who pay for the whiskey? Shush up your mouth. There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once. Distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. for my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Black Chalk, it's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you did. Once it take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street game. And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first I did. That's why it's taken me so long. I wanted to be sure, and what's that? No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the Golden Cat Brothel. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you. Quiet like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients, including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, 
I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now, if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. latest inventions. They say the idea came to him in a vision. Yes, yes, but you know how it works. I really can't see it. But all they hear is that your body is here. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The Lord Regent has ordered strict whale oil rationing in this area. Failure to comply will result in immediate arrest. Guards! Get around it! Oh, I'll find you. A blanket! Then I've got you now. Let's beat him! We lost it. I know you're somewhere around here. Call out if you see him.
here somewhere, Scum. Hunt dies. I know you're here. Attention, Dunwall citizens. A mandatory whale oil ration is now in effect. Non-compliance is a punishable offense. Where are you? Another guard for me. Take it. This is now under a mandatory whale oil ban.
music. I've lost track of him again. Morgan's in the steam room downstairs tonight. Is it safe in there? Because I've heard rumors. If one of them gets hurt, I'll lose my job. Oh, that's just the girls talking. It's nothing. Pressure builds up in the pipes and, well, it almost never happens. I'll make sure they never mention it again. Anyhow, Morgan insisted to be in the steam room tonight. He's so picky. Custis is easier to manage. Some nights he just waits in the gold room and talks to a girl. It's funny what people will pay for. Please don't kill me. I'm just a bird. are here. You're supposed to be on duty. Come on. You're supposed to be on guard. You'll get dismissed for sure. I can't believe this. You said you weren't even drunk. Finally. I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Bonnie? Not just like last time, understand? Slowly. And only trigger the shock at my command. Get it? And the safe word tonight will be retribution, let's say. You hear that, you stop. One shot out of line and you are out of a job. Stay focused, please. I can tell you love your work. Oh, that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? Stop with them. I cheated them, robbed them of thousands. Ruthless! Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Careful. I have a condition. Ah! Ah! Retribution! Retribution! Ah, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. I deserve it. We're done, I said. Retribution. Now let me out. I'll have you whipped, you bitch. What the? Who is this? What do you want? The safe. Yes, of course. The combination is 696. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. Where are you? I don't know. Some kind of mass. 
mask, he said. He didn't get a good look. Did he say what he wanted? I hear he didn't say a word, but he went through the place like the outsider himself. Maybe the plague's driven him crazy. He didn't fight the plague. He had dinner. <laughs>
Dunwall citizens. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. He now bears the Heretics brand, and by one of the oldest traditions of the Abbey. Overseers have initiated the Feast of Painted Kettles until a new High Overseer is born. Here you are. He's here. We know you're here. Brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, the Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking mines. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle.
to her again. She has to see reason. Seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way. Sweet little birds, come to Granny. Granny won't hurt you. Oh, can't be. Dearie, is that you?
This place is on the river, so you must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me. Have you seen him? The handsome one. Who's that? I can't see. No, don't go. Let Granny Rags tell you a story. It won't cost you anything at all. Which would you like? The history of the great city of Dunois? No, no, that's not for you. No, no. You want the tale of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Regal, fair-minded. She brought prosperity to the city. Hope to all. Then, violently murdered these six months ago. Nothing's been the same since her death. Poor child. Her spirit lives on, trapped, misused, and for what purpose? But here's the worst part. It was a man she trusted over all others that did the deed. They say he's in league with the outsider, and that he won't rest until everyone in Dunwall is dead, dead and cold. <laughs> now, Granny Rags has told you a tale. So maybe you'll tell it to someone else later. Change up the ending a bit if you want, huh? Dunwall citizens, this district is now under a mandatory... Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. 
Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention.